Hi. Hi, how are you doing? I'm quite exhausted. I can uh, imagine. We were, we were working like the last days like crazy to set everything up to get all the stuff ready and obviously then you're nervous because people get to see the movie for the first time so you don't know how they react and now all of that is going down. Yeah. So I'm exhausted but also super happy. Yeah. Do you feel like you got a good reaction from the film? So I don't speak Swahili so I didn't know what they were saying okay. while we were in the room. And, I was, and then I sat next to Joel, you know, the child actor, and he was like, are they really feeling with her? And I was like, okay, that's good. So uh, I haven't spoken to too many people yet, but I think, I think the overall reaction was quite good. And uh, people saw that there were lots of sweat and lots of tears and lots of hard blood put into this. And I think they, they appreciate it. And, and that makes us super happy. Okay, before I ask you more questions, let us know your name and your affiliation to the film Nawi. Yeah, my name is Kevin and I'm one of the directors and also one of the screenwriters. That's lovely. I love the fact that you said screenwriter because I have a question. Why did it end like that? That was quite a long process. We were sitting in the writer's room, you know, like a couple of people from the Learning Lions, including our co-director Apu Maureen, my brother me, and obviously the head writer Milka. And we were discussing the end for days, if not for weeks. Because we said, okay, why, why can't she succeed? First, we wrote it in a way that she succeeded. And then I think it was Milka who, ca who was initially pushing for the success, who then said, but guys, I feel like that we are betraying reality yeah. if we do this. Mm -hmm. Because then people will just go out of the cinema and say, ah, okay, she made it. At least she, ma ah, yeah. she made it, so yeah. it's not that bad. Yeah, exactly. And then we went bad. We went back to an earlier draft that we had mm -hmm. that actually ended not... Oh, it's not even a bad, bad ending. We still have that glimpse of hope in the end. So we decided to to kind of find a bridge for our main character. Yes, the ending is super tragic. And I think some people were even crying in the cinema. I did. I'm going to be honest about it. I did. I did shed a tear. Yeah. I did. Because it was very emotional how it ended. Cause immediately you think, oh my God. And from the way you wrote it, I'm, not, I'm giving you guys spoilers at this point in time. No spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was one of the people who shed a tear too. Now, let's wear your director hat, yeah? yeah. How was it directing a group of people who, um, there's of course language barrier. Um, I'm going to guess that was your first time in Turkana. So what was that experience for you? Uh, it was actually not the first time. So my brother and I are going back and forth since 2017 for this project. Okay. So for or 16, quite a while. Um, and we, were, we have been very careful in the process of being Muzungus, touching an African story. And from the beginning, when we have been approached by the Learning Lions, by Brizan, one of the producers, to check out whether it's possible to do an international movie in this region, we said, okay, but yeah. we said, yes, it's absolutely doable because you have amazing people, you have amazing landscapes, you have amazing visuals, and you have so much drive here. Mm -hmm. But we need to find the right people to do this because we can only guide it. Mm -hmm. We need to find co-directors who know the culture and who know the, and who know the language yeah. because it's different when people talk English and talk, talk Swahili, yeah. intonation is different, how they, how they go down or up at the end of the line, it makes such a huge difference. So in the end, we ended up being four directors on this movie. I think this had never been done. Um, and my brother and me were like, we put the pieces together, uh, but we had Apu who was focused completely on culture. Um, and we had Valentine who was focused completely on dialogue and everything, and especially on the kids. And so we had different responsibilities and fought a lot, but it turned out, uh, it turned out well, yeah. yeah. So final question, what do you hope to see? Where, where, where do you hope to see Nawi? What's your, what's your dream with it? Because it's your child now, it's the team's child. What do you hope to see with it? So we, we dream of two different scenarios. Okay. One is going micro and one is going macro. So one is going small in the sense of we want to bring the movie to the communities. Mm -hmm. We want to uh, get a mobile cinema that tours through the villages and that ed actually educates people. Um, and we want to take the movie as a second thing, as international as possible, because I think it has the potential to reach an international audience from the, also from the visual quality that our team delivered. 
great work. Uh, and from the acting, not to speak, because that's yeah. world class. Yeah. Um, and so there is the potential to go also wide, mm. but that depends from so many factors. But my yeah. dream is people all over the world get access to see the movie, <laughs> and all over the world includes especially the Turkana, the Ateca region, to really help girls. I want to say thank you for giving us this masterpiece. I'm going to call it a masterpiece because it's, I cannot wait for people to experience what I experience. And I've talked to people who have watched it. This is like their second time watching it and they still get the same, same feeling. So thank you so much. And I hope to see what more you give us. We're waiting to see your name a bit more on our screens, right? <laughs> thank you so much for gracing my interview too. Thank have a so lovely, lovely evening. Have a good evening.